Welcome everyone. Today we are diving into an important yet often misunderstood topic, insulin resistance. This condition plays a major role in many chronic diseases. Yet many people, including some doctors, are unaware of how it develops and its impact on overall health. Insulin is a vital hormone that helps regulate blood sugar level. It is produced by the pancreas in response to glucose entering the bloodstream after we eat. When we consume carbohydrates, they break down into glucose. Insulin acts like a key unlocking our cells so that they can absorb glucose and use it for energy. Over time, a diet high in refined carbohydrates and sugars can make our cells less responsive to insulin. As a result, glucose remains in the bloodstream, leading to elevated blood sugar levels. This is what we call insulin resistance. If left unmanaged, insulin resistance can contribute to serious health conditions, including type 2 diabetes, obesity, heart disease, and other metabolic disorders. In fact, many experts consider insulin resistance to be the root cause of numerous chronic diseases. The good news is that insulin resistance is manageable and even reversible with the right lifestyle change. By understanding its causes, we can take proactive steps to prevent or even reverse this condition. In this video, we'll explore the key factors that contribute to insulin resistance and practical strategies to improve insulin sensitivity. Let's dive in. So here are the contributing factors for insulin resistance. The first one, genetic factors. Inherited traits can predispose individuals to insulin resistance. A family history of diabetes increases the risk as genetic factors influence how the body processes insulin and regulates blood sugar levels. Obesity and particularly excess fat around the abdomen is a significant contributor. Visceral fat leads to chronic inflammation and fat accumulation in the liver and muscles, making insulin less effective. Physical inactivity. Lack of exercise reduces muscle mass and impairs glucose utilization, worsening insulin resistance. Poor diet. Diets high in refined sugars, processed foods, and unhealthy fats contribute to weight gain and increased fat accumulation. Excess consumption of sugar and processed carbohydrates leads to frequent spikes in insulin levels, making cells resistant over time. Chronic stress increases cortisol levels, which can lead to high blood sugar levels and fat accumulation. This in turn contributes to insulin resistance. Sleep disorders, poor and insufficient sleep can disrupt metabolic processes and increase insulin resistance as seen in conditions like sleep apnea. Hormonal imbalances, conditions such as polycystic ovarian syndrome, PCOS and thyroid disorders can disrupt the body's insulin response. Aging, as people age, insulin sensitivity naturally declines. This decline is often compounded by weight gain and reduced physical activity. Medication Certain medications such as corticosteroids, some antipsychotics and specific blood pressure drugs can contribute to insulin resistance. Chronic inflammation Low-grade persistent inflammation impairs insulin signaling and contributes to insulin resistance. Let us now look at the consequences of insulin resistance and the various chronic diseases that can develop as a result. Now, type 2 diabetes occurs due to high sugar levels in the bloodstream. Heart disease, and this occurs due to high blood pressure and arterial damage. Stroke occurs due to vascular damage and increased clotting risk. Polycystic ovarian syndrome PCOS happens due to ovarian dysfunction, 
weight gain and fertility issues kidney disease due to factors like diabetes high blood pressure or toxins leading to waste build up and potential organ failure non alcoholic fatty liver disease nafld happens due to excess fat accumulated in the liver due to insulin resistance poor diet obesity and potentially leading to inflammation and liver damage erectile dysfunction often caused by poor blood flow insulin resistance hormonal imbalances or nerve damage hearing loss often caused by aging noise exposure infection or metabolic disorders like diabetes and insulin resistance cognitive decline and alzheimer's disease often referred to as type 3 diabetes often driven by aging insulin resistance inflammation and poor metabolic health gout due to excess uric acid levels caused by uric acid build up often linked to insulin resistance poor kidney function and diet high in processed carbohydrates and fructose Let us now move on to prevention and healing strategies. Good nutrition is fundamental to preventing and healing chronic conditions. Following these three principles can significantly support long-term health and well-being. Number 1, quality. Choose whole natural foods and completely eliminate ultra-processed, artificially altered or engineered products. Number 2, quantity eat when you're hungry stop when you're full avoid overeating and number 3 frequency stick to the main meals and avoid snacking to allow insulin levels to stabilize fasting is one of the most effective strategies for prevention and healing it helps regulate blood sugar reduces inflammation promote heart and brain health support weight loss and enhance cellular repair incorporating fasting into your routine can significantly improve overall well-being physical activity exercise is a powerful tool for improving insulin sensitivity build muscle with resistance training and engage in cardiovascular activities like walking cycling or swimming just 150 minutes of moderate exercise per week can greatly enhance metabolic health. Quality sleep is essential for metabolic balance. Maintaining a consistent sleep schedule, limit blue light exposure before bedtime, and establish a relaxing nighttime routine to support deep restorative sleep. Managing stress is crucial for maintaining healthy insulin levels. Practice mindfulness, deep breathing, and activities that bring joy spending time in nature and fostering social connections can further support emotional and metabolic health regular health checkups and monitoring blood sugar and insulin levels help track progress sustainable consistent lifestyle changes lead to long term improvements in overall health and finally do your own research This presentation provides valuable insights but personal research is essential for deeper understanding validate the information discussed here by exploring evidence based health resources to make informed decision about your well-being thank you for watching if you've liked the video please subscribe to the channel